Hi, I'm Rainer and I am back in my train room and today I am trying to once again create a little more storage space in here to get things a little more organized and uh, I just made this shelving unit up along with my little place to put my logo which I have now straightened. This is good for getting my paints out of over there and over there and everywhere that it was so I'm I'm very happy with that. But that gave me the idea maybe I need to go a little bit farther. Now if you look back in my older videos of when I created this layout off camera here there is a glass fronted bookshelf storage cabinet that my dad made for me back when I was a kid and I kind of built it in under the layout. Now really it works better just as a display cabinet. Originally I had some of my paint in there. I moved it out and now I have a bunch of you know cables and camera equipment and a whole bunch of other stuff stored in there that I don't want dust getting on but it's not really stuff that should be on display. It doesn't look really good. I have some other models. I have things that my kids have gotten me that I want to put in there on display and I don't have a place to put it. So that's one thing I want to find place for the stuff that's on those shelves. And then there's just other bits of stuff kind of on my desk and everywhere else. I also have, you know, um, extra modeling supplies and parts. You know, when you build a, a, a structure kit, there's extra parts and things like that. And I want to find a place to put all of that rather than in some cardboard box under the layout. Because if it's in a cardboard box, I probably can't find it. It's a pain to dig it out and all the rest of it. So. What I decided to do was to try to build some drawers in under the layout. So over here, I have kind of dead space. Like if you look at my last video, I pulled this table out and it gives me a workbench. But this spot right here, the only thing, reason I need to get underneath there is to access wires. But if I put a drawer in here, I can pull the drawer out and still access the wires. So I decided I'm going to build a drawer in here that will pull out that I can put some, you know, model parts and things like that modeling tools whatever we'll see what ends up in there at the other end of the layout I have it's going to be underneath what's going to be my steel mill area is, an, is some more dead space I mean underneath there there's all kinds of bins and bags and junk all piled up but it ends up being a pretty tall stack and it doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the bench work anyway so I thought I'm going to put a couple of drawers in there side by side that I can put in some of my camera equipment and things like that and then while I'm at it, I also thought I would build a small drawer under my desk. My desk is just this three quarter inch plywood creation that I built years ago, actually for my son, for his recording studio. And then I've downsized it and scaled it down. And it's currently my, my desk that I work at for mixing and working on videos and things like that. So it doesn't have any drawer. So I want to build a small drawer underneath that as well. So. That being said, um, I've already been outside today and have created the, the plywood boxes for the drawers again. Like when I did this, I had some plywood, some half inch plywood left over from various projects. So here's just a little clip of outside just showing you how, how I ended up doing it. So what I've done here is I have made up four drawers. One's there, that's wider one. These two that are uh, narrower the same size and then a narrower one one for underneath my desk and uh, attach the drawer glides to them. And then over here, what I'm doing now is I'm going to build a, a framework out of one by twos and one by fours that will support the drawers. And then the idea is that that framework will then be um, screwed to the bottom of the bench work and then I can slide the drawers in. So that's what I'm doing right now. And let's see how that all works out. The drawers themselves I just made out of whatever uh, half inch plywood I had left over I found in the shed here. Okay, so I'm back and this is what I have accomplished. I put this drawer in here. It doesn't, does need a face put on the front of it. Um, I'll do that when I'm doing some more fascia around here and when I have some more plywood. So, uh, but at this point it's a little bit hard to grab because it's one of those soft closed things, but there's my drawer. I figure I can put all kinds of model parts, whatever I need to in here, um, tools, that kind of thing. So uh, that one's in place and closes like that. Very pretty. And now I will take you to the other end of the room. And over here, um, 
I don't know if you remember in any of my older uh, videos, this is the um, area that's going to be my steel mill eventually. Right now it's a bit of a junk dumping zone. My turntable is installed over here and this is the end of my rail yard over here. So what I've done is I've put in two more drawers in here. Again, same thing as at the other end. I still need to do the fascia. And so I need to do the fascia here and some face plates for them and put some handles on them to make them easier to open. But again, it gives me a fair bit more storage. Both of these, they're 18 inches deep, actually 17 and a half inch, inches inside. And um, I also have one more drawer cut sitting down here that's going to go underneath my desk. Um, I was going to do it right now, but I realized I have a bunch of old cable management ties down there from a previous setup that are kind of in the way and I need to get something to pry them out and pull them out. But anyway, that's the idea. This is what I'm trying to do here is to try to make this room a little bit more workable for me now that I'm going to be spending more time down here because uh, I have retired and so I have more time to work on my trains but I also don't want to be tripping over everything and constantly trying to find things that should be easy to get to so now that I've got my paint organized I've got that drawer over there for some of my other modeling tools and parts and things like that to put in there I do have some other racks for organization but like little storage compartments and things like that but just trying to get a little bit more organized storage that's easily accessible and then at this end I'm going to try to use these for keeping track of all of my audio video camera equipment things like that so that I know where it is it's stored in here and it's not getting mixed up with all of the other modeling stuff and train stuff so that's the idea maybe this gives you some ideas of what you can do in your train room just just remember, if you're going to be spending time in there, you want to make it enjoyable and you want to make it so you can find things. So getting organized, spending some time getting organized will hopefully make everything else go more smoothly. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. So anyway, that's it for now. Nothing complicated, nothing fancy. Just built a few drawers, put them in. Hopefully it gets me more organized. And uh, hopefully in the next video, I will get back to more direct train related stuff. See you next time. Thank you for watching.